Hey guys, I'm going to show you the differences between a Sport 4Runner and a regular SR5 4Runner. Let's take a look. The easiest way to spot a Sport model 4Runner is the hood scoop. It is non-functional, but every Sport will have it. The Limiteds don't and the regular 4Runners don't. And for kids who can read, it says Sport Edition right on the side. Another difference is they have a tubular uh, running bar here and uh, the regular forerunners will have a plastic uh, kind of more of a square step there than the limited to have a light on each end. The other difference between the sport and the regular is the roof rack. It's got more of a tubular style roof rack kind of like an Xterra but smaller. Um, it's got sliding crossbars and the regular forerunner has more of a squared off roof rack and if it's a limited it might be color matched if it's not, it might be chrome. Another difference between the Sport and regular is the Sport comes with 17 inch wheels. These are the stock Sport wheels from a 2006 4Runner. The biggest difference on the Sport is also the most overlooked I think is, is that the Sport comes with a Sport suspension that Toyota calls X-Rays. When you go around a corner it kind of senses pressure on the outside and will, and will take the pressure from the shocks on the inside and, and kind of pump up the outside but it's a completely passive system so there's no computers there's no uh, electronics it's all valves and hydraulics so the great thing about that is it's kind of like an active roll bar so when you go fast you know it doesn't feel like you're driving such a big truck it's kind of feels more like a car but this system is pretty much not active when you're going slow it's only active like when you're you're going fast, you're going around a heavy corner, getting off the freeway, getting on the freeway. So, actually feels pretty good. I, I like the, uh, the X-ray suspension. You can also get it on the Limiteds as an option and air suspension too, which is separate. You can have both. But you can't, I don't think you can get the X-ray suspension on a regular SR5 4Runner. So these are the sport seats. For whatever reason, Toyota only has the option for uh, stone and slate, I think they call it. It's like uh, tan and gray, pretty much. So to get the black interior, this is black, if you can't tell, it, uh, you have to get the Sport. And they're, uh, they're more side bolster seats than regular. Um, and they're also power. Both are power. I know this is the passenger side. And the driver's side has power too. I'll show you that. So uh, this is the power lumbar. I know most foreigners have that, but this is the uh, power seats, obviously. So this might be an option on the regular foreigners, but with the Sport, you, you're going to get both power seats. Uh, mine has the AC volt. That I believe is an option. I think almost all foreigners have the center differential lock. The newer ones have the. This is the side airbag turn off switch like if you're gonna if you're off-roading and you're four low you could push that and so when the car tips super sideways these side airbags don't go off because it thinks you're rolling over that sounds pretty hardcore um, and then <laughs> every foreigner I've seen has this descent control if you're in four low you can and you're going slow enough you can have the car slow you down a hill